Alright guys welcome back. In this video we are going to be writing the code that is going to handle connections from multiple clients. So the first thing we are going to do is actually write some code, not code actually some comments so that whenever you come back to this piece of function you understand what this function actually does. So we are just going to write handling connections from multiple clients and we are not only going to handle connections but we are also going to be saving each connection to a list. So we have created these two empty lists over here and every time we connect to a client the connection object is going to be saved in this first list and the addresses are going to be saved in the second list. So let's go back and write and saving to a list. This is the first thing we are going to do. Now let's say you have run the server.py file for the first time. Now when you run it for the first time, these both of these lists will be empty and there will be no connections. But what if you run the server.py file on your server again? Then these connections and these addresses will contain some information. So what we want is that we want to add another functionality that whenever we run the server.py file again, all the previous connections should be closed. So we are also going to add this thing to our code. So let's write closing previous connections when server.py file is restarted. Now let's create a function and we'll call it accepting connections and inside this we are going to write a for loop for loop for c in all connections not all all underscore connections and we are going to actually close all of these connections so what we are doing is like for example whenever we restart the server.py file there will be a lot of elements and objects in this all connections list so we are basically looping through all of them and closing each connection one by one now the second thing we need to do is actually also delete all of the information that both of these lists will contain when we restart the server.py file. So to delete all of the information in the list we use this del keyword and we'll just write all connections and then inside these brackets we'll write a colon which will basically say key, hey select all of the objects or all of the elements in the list and using the delete keyword delete all of them. So we'll also do the same thing with addresses. Let's put a colon. Now the next thing that we are going to do is actually create an infinite while loop just like we created in the previous server.py file and this while loop is going to run for as long as the server.py file is going to be running on a server. The next thing we are going to do is actually write the try accept code and inside this try we are going to actually accept our connections. So we accept connections we get two outputs one is the connection object and second is the address and how do we accept connections we just write the socket s.accept and whenever a connection is accepted we, the connection object is stored in conn and the address stores the ip address and the port of the client now what we are going to do is actually store these connections and these addresses in these lists of all the connections and all addresses but before that we have to use a parameter called set blocking so we'll just write s.set blocking and in it we are going to write one that is basically true and this what this does is that it prevents the timeout of connections so for example let's say a client has connected to your server if you do nothing with that server it's soon going to time out and disconnect so this set blocking prevents the timeout from happening let me just comment that too prevents timeout from happening actually prevents timeout is fine Alright, so the next thing we are going to do is actually store these connection objects and these address in these empty lists. So to do that we will just write all connections dot append. Append is basically used when we need to add something to this list. So we are just going to write co and n inside it. And then we are going to do the same thing with address and dot append dot append and we will just write address inside it. After this we are just going to print that the connection has been established just to make sure that the connection has actually been established and it's not an error. We will just print out connection has been established and we put a colon and we will just print out the IP address. So 
this address is actually a list and the first element of this list contains the IP address. So we are just going to print that. We are not going to print port as because we just needed to see whether the connection has been established or not. Uh, but anyways, we'll just put an accept over here too so that this will run if there is any kind of problem while accepting connections. So we'll just write print error accepting connections. So now we have completed this first comment that is handling connections from multiple clients and saving it to a list. So what's happening is that first we are creating a socket, then we are binding the socket and then this third function we are accepting connections. And before that we are just seeing that hey, if the server.py file has been restarted, close all the connections and delete all of the elements in this all connections list and this all address list. Then we created a while infinite loop which is going to run as for as much time as the server.py file is going to be running. Then we wrote the try and accept code and we accept one connection. So for example, the first client is connected is going to take the connection object and the address list of that first client. Then we put the set blocking as one which is going to prevent the timeout from happening. Then we appended this connection of the first client to all connections and we appended the address also to the all address list and then we just printed out whether uh, address connection has been established or not. Then in the accept if there is some kind of error we just printed out error accepting connections. Now let's say that the first connection has been established and first client is connected to our server. Now what will happen if the second client comes? It will go to this while equals to true and then it's going to come to try and then the second connection is going to be established and it's going to store the second client's information in these two elements and then the side blocking is one. Now this list of all connections will contain the data of all clients. So the first client will be stored in the first element of the list and the second client will be stored in the second element of this list. So this, it will be stored in the second element because this is the second client. The same is going to happen with this all address list and then it's going to print the connection has been established. So all of this code that we have written right now is running in the first thread. In the next video, we are going to be writing the code which is going to run on the second thread. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.